Hockey YouTube. Hi, up here, and today we're coming at you with a slightly different video. Lately, I've been playing Escape from Tarkov a lot, and I'm fairly new to the game, I'll be honest. I've only been playing it for two to three weeks, uh, but lately, I learned, just by playing the game, I learned a really good reserve run uh, to make lots of ammo really quickly. I went from less than a million dollars to almost seven million dollars, more or less in a day. Um, and it's a it's a very good strategy and it requires very little setup so apologies in advance if somebody's already posted a video of this run i've never seen it before but i just want to share it with you guys so here it is um first things first i always spawn in with a beretta the it's technically a pistol run um and the beretta nine mil is in my opinion the best bang for your buck literally because it's only about 10k uh you can get it for less than 10k and it's not the makarov the makarov is garbage um, what you do here is just throw some rip rounds in there because I honestly believe when you do run into people, rip rounds are the best thing for you. Uh, they kill people without armor in one shot, uh, which is a lot of scavs, a lot of other pistol runners. And, uh, it rips through your arms if you do have armor and it kills people with armor pretty damn fast. Um, so basically for this strategy, what I'm going to do is typically I'm going to run in with a backpack, this pistol and possibly a tactical rig. All of this insured, obviously. And then we go. To, I'm going to go in with one grenade, one bandage, one cheese, and one splint. Uh, the key here, though, is for my strategy, you really want to use a red rebel and a paracord. Uh, if you don't, I will also show you the exit. That, it's the sewer manhole. You probably know it. If not, just look it up. Uh, it's a quicker run without that. But if you have the paracord, you can really escape with a lot of stuff. Uh, you can get tons and tons of money. Uh, so... What I'll show you guys here is the run. I happened, I just did an offline mode with no enemies um, and I moved myself right about here. There's tons of spawns on this left side of the, on the left side of reserve here, uh, up in the dome, anywhere around here. And if you, as long as you spawn on this left half of the map, you can go straight for this dorm room. If not, then you're gonna have to do a different strategy. So my strategy won't work if you spawn anywhere near the train, sta train station, the other marked room, the in this open field, etc. You gotta be on this half of the map. And as soon as you spawn in, you just sprint straight towards these dorms. And as most people know, uh, the dorms have a marked room in the bottom. They have two rooms that require two keys. Um, and I have both of them, I bought both the keys. And uh, I'll probably this crazy part up just so you uh, I'm watching run. All right, so you come down here and you unlock the marked room, obviously. First things first, you can drop some pretty cool stuff. Looks like here we got a shotgun and uh, that's about it. Make sure to check around the room. Obviously, usually there's like chainlets or items on the ground But you can also come over here and unlock this bad boy In here you find a bunch of weapon parts ammo magazines. There can be multiple guns here There can be multiple guns here um, And then you have this building more or less looted uh, for for our strategy here and as you see those keys were uh, RBBK and RB QB, I believe. Or no, RB T T B. There we go. So I also like to check this duffel bag because I feel like it's a lucky duffel bag. Um I found a lot of good stuff in here. <laughs> Speak speaking of the devil, just happened to find a vase. That duffel bag is a better duffel bag than every other duffel bag in the game. So just trust me on that one, alright? So now we're gonna run out here and as fast as we can still. We're going to run through this area. We're going to go underground into this other dorm. And underneath the stairs. Again, pretty much the same area as the other dorm. They're, they're cookie cutter buildings. Um, so we're going to run through here. Go through this gym. I like to check these duffel bags too. Uh, they're not as lucky as that one. But this one's gotten me some good stuff. Some paracord. And there's another one of these rooms that's like a armory room. Uh, this time, I don't see anything spawned, but there can be guns here. There can be guns there. Uh, lots of ammo boxes, you know. You can get good ammo. You can sell it on the flea market for a lot. But now, here comes the good part. So, we go underground. We're going to escape through dome. First things first, there's a half weapons crate there that you can loot if you choose to. And this part, of course, you can take as long as you want. You can either rush through it or you can sit and loot every individual piece. I don't like to loot any of the tiny little search boxes, like toolboxes or cabinets, uh, because there's a lot of really good big spawns. Um, 
as we come into this first room here, this first big, uh, I don't know what you call this, silo or something. If you look along the ground here, you can find lots of like fuel cans, motors, uh, metal fuel cans, plastic ones, uh, hose, obviously. You can find so much stuff. There's a piece that spawns literally right there as well. Um, this time we got bad luck. We used it all in that vase, but I found three motors there in one go before, and it's actually insane. But this room right here, this is the money maker. So first off, you can go in here, and there's obviously lots of stuff that you can loot. You can go downstairs and loot. Um, there's backpacks, uh, duffel bags. Uh, there's even a secret hidden duffel bag back here. But I like to imagine that someday it's going to have something very good in it. Uh, this time it had nothing. But it's a secret little duffel bag. Nobody really knows what it's for. There's obviously like helix here, bulbs here, you know. All this stuff, You. this is why you want to bring a backpack. I like to bring a tri bag that's insured and just fill it up with stuff. So, this room is really important. Um, I can't remember what they're called, actually. Uh, maybe Jake knows. Jake, if you remember what that this piece is called, let me know. It's the big circuit board that's purple. Like the ace or something? Eyes or something like that. Um, but there's two of them that I spawned right next to each other, and those are worth 100k each. Spawn two of them next to each other in one run. And right here and right here, you can actually spawn two intelligences, intelligence reports, at the same time. I walked in and I found these two intelligence reports and two of those purple circuits uh, on the same run, and it was actually insane. I made out with so much money. So over here, you have a safe. Um, in the safe is obviously lots of money. It's usually pretty stacked, if I'm completely honest. Um, and it has, it can have GP, whatever. There's a computer that you can get some, some nice stuff out of. And then uh, always remember to drop down here and check here as well, because on this desk, you can spawn more intelligence reports. And that means in this one room alone, you could get three intelligence reports. That's almost 700 million or 700,000 rubles. Uh, they're each worth 260 to 280k, and you could get three in one go, and you could get two of those big circuit boards. It's insane. It's actually ridiculous. Um, and we're not even all the way through the through the bottom area. There's obviously loot here. Uh, there's a little tiny room here that you can loot stuff. Just pick up everything, put it in your bag. I've never once found anything in this building, um, so I don't even check it anymore. But last but not least, there's obviously these and uh, a bunch of weapon parts here. I found an 84 round mag for a Makarov in there. Uh, there's ammo in that little box. And then you run all the way up the stairs. So this part is where it's gonna get kind of risky. Um, the top of the dome basically is where we're going. And uh, when we get up into the dome, there's a lot of times that if you take too long, you're not gonna be able to get the loot. Uh, somebody's gonna beat you to it. If you do this fast enough, I'm almost always able to get loot, um, but it just depends. So I'll show you guys how this works anyway. So we're going to come out of here. You definitely want to look around. This is very dangerous, but you've got these two buildings here. This one, I don't even think it needs a key. Uh, it's got a safe. It's got a computer and it has all these if you want to search them. I don't really search those anymore. They just take too long. Don't forget. Also got this case in the side. You can open both those doors. And then this is the this is the money maker. This is my favorite room right here. You've got so many things to loot inside here. First and foremost, you've got this. There can be guns in there. You've got a little like mini safe up here that always has typically like dollars and euros. Like here we got a GP, some rubles, uh, more rubles. Uh, you've got these two doors here that you can open. This one has obviously a magnet right now, and I found a DVL-10 in here. You can find any kind of guns. There's a gun crate here, obviously another safe here that you can loot, and this little guy. Aw, oh, this time he didn't have anything in it, but usually it's got some euros or rubles or some little money things in there. Um, and then this room is completely looted. I'm wondering if you could find a key on this, but who knows. So there's other uh, lootable rooms, there's other keyed areas that you can do on this run. Uh, but you just literally run right over here and as long as you have your red rebel and paracord you can escape If you don't have red rebel and paracord I highly recommend that you get it because that escape is amazing. Otherwise if you don't have it you can't take a backpack and uh, You go down there to right behind that truck is the sewer manhole. If you don't know it already I'm kind of surprised 
If you do, awesome. Um, but we'll go ahead and disconnect from this. The best run I've ever done was 1.5 million uh, in one run. And you get a lot of stuff really quickly. You'll easily fill up your backpack with random blue things, random purple things, guns. Um, you know, a lot of times you'll end up killing a scav or a player and they'll have some stuff too. Um, the paracord, oh yeah, good call. So Red Rebels currently are like 5.5 million. They're a lot, you gotta save up for it, but they're absolutely worth it. Paracord's about 200k. I have found multiple paracords in this run. So all you really have to worry about is the Red Rebel and the paracord will come in time. So uh, there you have it. That's my run. Typically it goes a little smoother. I was just explaining all the locations this time. Uh, you can run it in less than 10 minutes every single time and then you just go right back in as long as you get good spawns then it's perfect if you spawn somewhere else where you're not really feeling it either just die right away or go down the sewer manhole and escape you know you can just run to the escape and basically relaunch the encounter and no harm no foul so thank you for watching hopefully you guys like this video i know it's not destiny it's escape from tarkov but make sure to hit the like button comment subscribe and let me know what you think catch you guys later